this one coming in arm privilege in various uh, do care in, uh, in, in, in privileged persons as well and it is usually undiagnosed uh, usually undiagnosed because routine stool analysis can miss it easily uh, but you should ask uh, for stool analysis by flotation method you should you should ask for a flotation method and this flotation method will bring the the Giardia uh, supernatant and the link it can be diagnosed easily by a simple uh, in, uh, microscopic analysis uh, but you are true sometimes a case with chronic diarrhea came to me having uh, 100 times stool analysis and uh, getting the endoscope and the biopsy I find the Giardia in the biopsy Giardia in the biopsy you know that we treat usually giardiasis although it is not present. In this particular case, it is present without any response part. Another point to add that uh, metronidazole uh, is now about 70% resistant in cases with giardiasis. And uh, ornidazole is now the drug of choice, the tepiral, la roche. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for giving you the trade name because this is 100% effective now in giardiasis. If you suspected the case as giardiasis, you can give ornithazole, the, the scientific terminology is, uh, name is ornithazole, 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 <coughs> and this is, there is no resistance at all for ornithazole. Another point, if giardiasis was recurrent and you prove it by stool analysis, not by fabrication, okay? Mm -hmm. If it is proven, uh, you should consider this as immune deficient person, especially secretory IgA deficiency, which is not usually diagnosed. Uh, by serum IgE. This is not the way to diagnose secretory IgE. Usually we diagnose secretory IgE by a simple method when we reach an endoscope and we're taking a biopsy in persons having chronic disease, chronic GI disease. We ask the pathologist to stain it by a new histochemical for uh, IgE uh, monoclonal antibody and we diagnose IgA deficiency in the gut itself by this histopathology diagnosis. For how long for treatment, ornithazole is five days serum. It's only five days serum. If it is a yes, you start to have marvelous response. If it's suppose uh, 20 years ago, we conducted the work to have a score clinical and laboratory to diagnose their diseases if it's not present in the stool. And we found the following things. If there is excess fat in the stool, if there is no past cells or mucus or RBCs, if there is upper abdominal distension with significant upper abdominal hyperresonance, the score for diagnosis is almost definite that this is case of heart disease. Again, market upper abdominal and not generalized abdominal distension. Market upper abdominal distension, epigastric fullness, with upper abdominal hyperresonance, with without stool RBCs or bus cells, without mucus in the stool film analysis, with excess fat in the stool, this is very important, and this opened a way that this fat in the stool is very important and the maldigestion, the uh, presence of fat in the stool will prevent the antibiotic effect against antiparasitic effect against the uh, disease. So, we usually give a digestant ferment with the therapy and this cures better than leaving the therapy alone or decrease the fat intake in the five days of therapy and this is a therapeutic line in itself. Thank you. I would like just to add, if uh, we have abdominal discomfort and uh, plainly thinking of, we have two things to think about. One of them is BR disease and the other is H. pylori. And I think many, many cases prove later to be H. pylori as well. So added to BR disease, we have the H. pylori with the same manifestations and are doing the same effect, plus causing my iron deficiency. Which you for not releasing uh, 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 substance, and this ghrelin is the orexigenic hormone of the body. It is the, the hormone that makes appetite. So we found that ghrelin is deficient in large persons, and in the group in which ghrelin was deficient, most of them were gerardizes. So gerardizes decreases ghrelin, and through this decrease of ghrelin, it leads to anorexia. 
and it is usually associated with anorexia compared to other parasitic infestations that lead to polyphagia, like ascaris, because ascaris occurs.